afternoon. I'm Matt Hamill Jones at Hoylet Lifeboat Station. Come to talk you around the uh, Arnolai hovercraft. It's made by Griffin. It's a 470 model and it's used around four locations around the UK coast for search and rescue. I'm now going to talk you around the hovercraft. We'll look at all the features on board starting from the stern end. Here we have the lift fan chamber and the radiators for the two engines and if we work our way back we have the fan cowlings, the, the fans for thrust, the elevators for lift and then the rudders on the stern end. Inside the engine bay we have two 1.9 litre Volkswagen engines they're driving the two belts. One belt is for the thrust and one belt is for the lift. And then we have the electrical distribution board in the center. Moving forward, we'll have a look at the, the equipment inside the console. Here inside the cockpit, we have two mud mats and then also two uh, mud boards that we can use that the crew uses uh, seating area. Removing these boards reveals a storage area. Which contains an anchor, the equipment for the mud lance, and two spades to dig casualties out of mud if necessary. We also have a storage space in here toolbox and additional search lights. We have first aid kit, oxygen and a stretcher. We also carry Entonox and a fire extinguisher that will act as a mud lance to extract casualties out of the mud. On board for navigation we have Sims, we have a command mic for communication and we also have two fixed search lights on board. So here in the cockpit we have, a, when you sit in position, we have the two elevators the throttles and the steering. This is for the communication, for internal communication between the crew and then also for, um, for the BHF to contact the Coast Guard or the lifeboat station. We have a repeater from the Sims navigation package, compass and also the inkle monitor which is very important for a hovercraft to make sure that you're trimmed correctly. Um, we also have ballast tanks, so we have two ballast tanks, one forward, one aft. So if we need to move weight around, we can do that. And we have the engine gauges, bilge pumps, and engine stops, and then the pyrogen. If we have a, a, an engine fire, we can immediately discharge that. We also have an additional VHF radio and a hand fire extinguisher.